before this video begins, I want to show you the shirt. It says, I do it for the subscribers. Yep, I do it for the subscribers. Hi, this is Troy Two Five Eight Four, And in this video, I'm going to be giving my top 10 personal best days that I had in, tw in the year 2019. So yeah, I, I can't actually remember the dates. You might think you might think it's crazy that I can do that. And you may be thinking about why why wouldn't I do 2020 instead? Because that year was more recent, so I would remember more about it. Well, the reason why I'm doing 2019 instead is because it had more memorable moments. 2020 would have had had just as many memorable moments, if not more, than 2019 did. If it wasn't for COVID the COVID-19 virus, the pandemic, that ruined it. So yeah, I'm going to give my top 10 best days that I've had in the year 2019. So let's get started with the countdown. Number 10. May 19th. And the picture I used for this day is a picture of my poppy's pool. That I took. And yeah, and I used it because this day had my first time this year that I went swimming. See, so yeah, I was going swimming with my cousins, the same ones I frequently mention in my videos, Tower Nova and Jaden. And Tower had his two friends, his two twin friends over. We all hung out, and yeah, I had a great day. And it was, I had a great day because. It was my first time going swimming that year. And I enjoyed being in the pool that day. Number nine. August 29th. Yeah, that's it. I really enjoyed this day because I was uh, camping out with um, with my dad and my cousins, Tower of Angie, and just some of my family. And I... And it was a, and it was it was a nice campsite. <laughs> there was a lot to enjoy there. There was a hot tub, and it was, it's and it and it felt like something I've never done before. <laughs> and we were there for. We got there on the twenty eighth, and then we slept there, and then we were there the whole entire day on the 29th and thirtieth, and we left on the thirty first. Being there and leaving there were both rough, like there were problems. But I won't talk about them because I just want to talk about the good stuff. And August 30th that was good too. But I feel like because I was there for longer, I was getting tired of being there. Or, and also that we didn't, I didn't do as much stuff I enjoyed doing on the 30th. But the 29th was much better. And everything we did today, I enjoyed doing. And I had a nice, and it was nice being in the hot tub. And there were no, and there not, and nothing went wrong this day. At no point did I have any trouble. And I would definitely go back here again. Oh, and that picture of the lake. Oh, that's no, that picture is one that I actually took. Even though it's not that highly detailed, I edited the picture, but still, <sighs> but but the picture itself though is still an actual picture that I took. When, when I was there. So I had a fun time there. And I had a great day overall. And number eight. It's, it's because... The reason, the reason why, the reason why this day was awesome was because I got my, because Mom and John completely redesigned my room to look like that. And before, it looked absolutely nothing like that. Mom and John sent me to my dad's day early, and they redesigned my room as a full Christmas present. They even put the Christmas wrapper on the door. And I couldn't believe they did that. It was so awesome. I even uploaded, I even put it on YouTube and showed what my new room looked like.
Yeah. Uh, and mom recorded my reaction when I came in. I'm like, what happened? I was just in shock, but in, in, a, in a pleasant way. And see, I thank you, Mom and John, for, for doing all this. I understand it. It was, it was not easy. And you worked very hard. Number seven. June 29th. So look at the picture. Can you guess what this was going to, where, where it's going? Yeah, I use this picture because my cousin, my cousin Becca, got, got married this day. And it took place outside. You, you know, it was very nice, a very nice and happy moment. And and then after that, we went into like this building. Oh, and the building was so cool. Like it was like so it was like there was this main room like where you dance and it has tables like to eat at. And then you go into and then there was a kitchen and then there was like a place hairdressing room and there was even a room like like a a little room with a t a TV and a couch, a tiny room, and I stayed in it whenever I wanted you know, peace and quiet. So, and there was even an upper floor, and it was just there was just so much going on. I loved being there because it felt like something I'd never done. And then that night we slept in a hotel, and I thoroughly enjoyed this day. And congratulations, Becca and Cameron. Getting married is a big thing and is a huge part of everyone's life of those who do get married. Number six, October 21st. My birthday, in case y'all know, is on October 10th. So next October 10th, I'll be turning 16 years old. Yeah, so since it was 2019, I was turning 14. And for my birthday, I went, even though it was 11 days after my birthday, we, I celebrated on this day by going to Funplex with some of my family. And just the indoors part. And I had a very good time there. Like, like, there's, like there's a lot of fun stuff inside. There, there's bumper cars, there's two small rides that you can go on. There's a laser tag thing, and there's a virtual reality. There's a virtual reality little room, and there's an arcade and a bowling alley. And it's a party room. There's just so much going on at that place. It's awesome. And and I did almost everything this day. And I definitely would want to go there again sometime. Number five. December 20th. I had a awesome day for many reasons. This day. Now, first of all, I went on a bowling field trip with my classmates. Then number two, it was after school was over, it was the start of Christmas break for me. Number three, I saw the Christmas light show and and I had no problems there. And I was just happy the whole time. And number four, I was I went with my friend in, named named Marissa. And hopefully you'll get to see her in a video sometime. And it was a great day. But there was one downside to this day though. While I was bowling, when usually when I bowl I get somewhere from fifty to ninety points without bumpers. You know what I got on the first game this time? You're gonna think it's you. You're gonna think it's pathetic. I got like six points, and I'm like, I'm like, are you kidding me? I usually do. D, I usually get 50, 90 points in bowling, and the one time I'm with a bunch of people that don't know how I do, I do this bad. The second frame though, I made up for it and I got over it. And the rest of my day, I had a terrific day. Number four. March 2nd. It's the March 2nd. I was currently in, at a vacation on vacation 
in Orlando, Florida with Mom and John and Aunt Dottie. So on this trip I went I went with I went with Aunt Dottie and her boyfriend George on this day to the Kennedy Space Center. Which, and that's a picture from it. It's not a picture I took, but it's a picture on the internet that I found. There were like many parts to it, and I've always been interested in space. So I so I definitely enjoyed being there. And there was like many parts to it too. And there was like a bus that would take us to the different sections of the space center. And we saw quite a lot of stuff. Like we saw like we saw like two mini movies. Like where we sat down. And like we saw a lot of and we saw a lot of cool stuff like like it's possible that we went into the same room that I s dies put a picture from the internet onto here. Yeah, and it was nice seeing all the spaceships and everything. Definitely had a great time to be over there. No number three. December twenty fifth. Christmas Day. Yeah. And whatever this place is where this picture is from, I did not go there. I think every every cruise I had so far was was good or or at least or at least it was decent. But or at least they were all decent. But but this Christmas in my opinion was definitely my favorite Christmas that I've had yet. I was deeply pleased still about the room, my room being changed. I woke up, it felt like it felt like something that's hard to describe. And my mom my mom was like, You're gonna wake up in the next morning and think you're somewhere else. But well we I, I didn't get fooled by that. I woke up and I, I knew where I was. I still remembered right away. This Christmas I had was perfect. Everything I got, like presents wise, I was happy with. At no point was I at no point was I upset, angry, no frustrated, stressed, or anxious. Even even in the littlest bit. I saw my family and ate dinner with them. No raw. This day there was nothing like I said, there was nothing that went wrong. It was completely with no flaws. I was very happy with everything I got. That was it was the year that I got all the records that I have for my record player. The vinyls. Yeah. So I did so I so I definitely did have a Holly Jolly Christmas. Number two. February 28th. Can you guess what this picture is implying? If you're, if you're telling that I went on a plane flight this day, you're right, I did. First day taking a trip to Orlando, Florida, and it was my first time ever, ever flying on a plane. And I even put it on YouTube. Everything about this day was totally awesome. I woke up. Just seeing the airport, didn't. Since I've never been on a plane before that, I never seen an airport what it looks like before too. See, it was like, it, so yeah, it's, so yeah, I know it looks not kind of like a mall except everything is except the walls are white instead of gray, and there were little, there were little to no things that bothered me. In the plane flight, I had no problems at all. I just enjoyed it back in it. I saw my aunt Dottie. It was, it was where we were in New Jersey it was cold and then when we were here it's all warm. It felt so nice to be in the warmth and the rest of the day we were just relaxing laying on the beach 
going into the pool and going and going out to eat in places. And for and basically the entire day, I was extremely I was extremely happy. And but before we get to number one, I'm going to name some honorable mentions. March third. So yeah, so this was my last full day in the the Florida vacation, and it was nice. It was just, it was relaxing, and I and also it, it was cool going out going out to eat that night with Aunt Dottie's boyfriend's family. He went out to this Mexican place I forget the name of, and nothing went wrong at all. Anyways, that, that picture I used for this day is one that is a picture that I actually took. And it's it's on my Instagram account. My Instagram account name is Captain Dre739. I'll I'm I'll try to put it in the description. June twenty sixth. So on this day, I went to I went on the beach with with my dad and my cousins Tyler and Ove and Jaden. So that picture is not a picture that I took. It's one that I used on the internet. I forget what beach it was. It might have been the Atlantic City one. I enjoyed being there though. And it was nice because it was my first time being in the beach that summer. September 28th. So yeah. Do you know what those those are the two emojis that I made of of my friends that I hung out with this day. That's uh, that, that's Mikey right there, and that's his sister, which I mentioned earlier in my video, Marissa. And I enjoyed spending time with with both of them, even though Mikey left early because be. Uh, because he was sneezing a lot, and also because he doesn't like sleeping over at people's houses. But where's just stayed overnight? I, enjoy, I enjoyed hanging out. And then the next day, on the 29th, we went. We well, we went out and went apple picking. And uh, I that that was the next day though. I, I think I like this day better because there were no problems. Unlike the next day, it was. It was too hot out. And that was making me not enjoy it as much. But the day I'm putting on the list is the day where we were hanging out at night. Because I enjoyed that. Because I really enjoyed that. October 26th. That's an actual picture that's taken from one of my YouTube videos. In partic the video in particular, the video is about my cousins doing the Mean Boozle challenge. So yeah, that's that's me on the on the right. That's Towers in the middle, and and on the left that's Jaden. Nove is not in it. She didn't want to be in it. Yeah, I had a fun time hanging out, and I had fun on that video. And so yeah, we played a lot of UFC. You, the UFC on the on the PS4. Tyler, I think Tara was kicking Jaden's butt in that game, and, and I stayed up really late that night. The latest I've ever been up ever. I didn't go to bed until like four thirty in the morning. Just like when I had my friends Marissa and Mikey over this night, I also had a a nice time. I also had a good time with them. November 28th. So yeah, this was Thanksgiving. I'm pretty sure you could tell by looking at the picture that this was Thanksgiving. Even though this isn't a picture I took. I didn't, I, don't, I didn't have a picture from when I went there. So I had so I thought this was a good one to use. So anyways, um, so this Thanksgiving was unique from all my other Thanksgivings. But it was still a good one. So, I was only I only ate Thanksgiving with four people, which is unusual. The only people I ate Thanksgiving with were my no my dad, my cousin Christian, and my mom and pop pop, 
And I'm not I'm not referring to the mom and pop up that you usually see like in my in my YouTube videos. I mean my other mom and pop up. The ones on my dad's side of the family. And first of all, it was nice seeing my cousin Christian. Because I, I rarely see him. So when I see him it's it's pretty cool. So yeah, and the food that mom and pop up made were, was good. And I had a nice time hanging out. Instead of having a big crowd with a big family, it was nice just having Thanksgiving with four people for a change. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to have Thanksgiving with a lot of people, but it's a cool change to just have a small group. Have you noticed that my second honorable mention and my fourth took place on the 26th? And yet, my third and fifth one, which is this one, took place on the 28th. Coincidence? I think not. That it's a meme. It's an internet meme. Anyways, those are my honorable mentions. Now we're getting to the number one spot. My best day of the entire year. Let's start the drum roll. March first. Yep, the gold medal goes to March first. Can you tell what this picture is implying? Yes, this picture is implying that I went to Universal Studios this day. At police, Universal Studios was beyond what I could ever imagine. How everything looked so perfectly there. Like, it was, it was ridiculous how spot on everything was. And I... I went so many places, and all the the virtual rides, all oh, they were all beyond. They were all absolutely awesome, and there managed to be absolutely nothing that went wrong. And I enjoyed every ride thoroughly, and every second of being there, I I enjoyed extremely. And then at the end, he went to this place called Cowfish. It was a place that made, they made, they basically make burger sushi. It's like sushi, but it's made out of like burger stuff. I think this was not only the great best day of the year, but the best day I've ever had, ever. Every second of it, every second of it was off the charts in a positive way. I hope you enjoy this list. I know a lot of I know most of you won't not be able to remember any dates in 2019, but if you're one of those few people that can that are able to do that, I rec I would like you to tell me in the comment section what your top 10 days in 2019 were. Bye guys.